Sheets of metal, pieces of wood. This is what remains of a historic Vermont barn destroyed by yesterday's strong storms. It's really unsettling to see the neighborhood change in such a dramatic way in such short time. Yeah. Fred Messer says it took just minutes for hurricane force winds to take down his neighbor's 100 year old barn. We put the binoculars on this place as soon as the storm cleared. We could see that there was change. Oh, it was terribly. Terribly emotional. Elwin Neal is still in shock that his barn is now gone. It's like a long time resident that just passed away. He's still trying to come to terms with what happened as the National Weather Service surveys the damage. This microburst, um, all the damage indicators that we saw are, are mainly from west to east. Meteorologist Brooke Tabor says the straight line winds are what separate a microburst from a tornado. And also the way the damage is uh, orientated based on, on the way the storm is moving. The storm uprooting trees in its path. Some of them look like the Jolly Green Giant just picked them up, just pulled them out like a carrot. Neil and his neighbors are just glad that nobody was hurt. Someone had been in that barn, it had been uh, very tragic. As they begin a new chapter in the farm's history. The owners say they have no idea how long it'll take to clean all of this up, but they do say they plan on rebuilding. In Waitsfield, Listrepa, NBC5 News.